All right, so it's a beautiful day outside, and it's supposed to get up to 80 today. And I'm going to go outside and catch all the bugs that I could find. So I got this backpack with some containers in it. And I got my net. We're going to go outside and go look for some bugs. So I'm outside. I'm wearing short sleeves right now. And I looked up at this tree and I noticed that it's blooming. That's a good sign. So I'm walking the canal road. It leads from my house and loops all the way back to my subdivision. I'm gonna walk on it and see if I can find something. So somehow I was able to notice this extremely small hole in the ground. And I looked closer and it was the nest of the only fire ant species that lives in Idaho. I got two ants. They are extremely small, but somehow I managed to get them. The next day we went on a nature walk in Boise and my brother ended up getting more lucky than I did. While I was failing to catch carpenter bees at an embarrassing rate, my brother ended up catching not one, but two American bullfrogs. Whoa! Get that pole back there. After we got some cool pictures, we released the frogs back into the wild. And just to be funny, we decided to name our frog One-Eyed Willie because his left eye was damaged. So, my dad just found a western carpenter ant on the ground. Something I've been needing to get. That's nice. All right, so right here, there's a velvet ant. But this one is a lot more orange and reddish color. And these are like classic velvet ants. <sighs> okay. The next day, I decided to walk the canal road again. And it surprisingly didn't take too long to find something. Look at that. That is a type of velvet ant. Really cool looking velvet ants that we get here in Idaho try and catch it they're insanely fast oh i have no idea where it went <laughs> i don't think it's there anymore i was almost 100 percent sure i lost it but then oh oh when all hope was lost i caught it there it is a really really cool velvet ant species i usually call these the white-headed velvet ant and i'm pretty sure you can tell why but I already have one of these, so I'm gonna let it go. Very cool find. There it goes. All right, so right here, there are two hawk moths mating. So there's a light one at the top and a dark one at the bottom. It's hard to see. It's uh, right there in the back. Now. These ones aren't disturbed by me, but if they were, they would spread out their wings a little bit so you can see their hind wings. And on their hind wings, there's a little patch that's pink and there's a blue fake eye in the middle of them. And they use that to scare away predators as a warning to any animal trying to eat them. But these, are, these two are mating, which lets you know that there's gonna be a lot more of them this year. Now let's rewind back a bit to last year. Last year during August, I was walking around in my backyard and on a tree, I found something amazing. Whoa. So I just caught this. I, I think see. it's called a sphinx moth or a sphinx. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna release it. And that moment was just so majestic and beautiful that I was positive that this would be a one-time thing. So to see not one, but two mating is very exciting for me and lets me know that I have a very exciting summer ahead of me.
So there you go. That's my video announcing that I'm going to be posting a lot more often because it is finally becoming warm and bugs are starting to come out. Those are just the bugs that come out at the beginning of the year. There are a lot more that I'm going to catch this year and document and post on YouTube for you guys. If you want to see more about moths and butterflies, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.